With a large Haitian population here, many in Rochester are directly impacted by the unrest in that Caribbean country. Though that upheaval has not received as much attention as it did last month, armed groups are consolidating power and a humanitarian crisis on the island is getting worse. Jatira Marsh joins us now with more on the local terror this is creating. Jatira. Theresa Adam, owner of African Haitian Cuisine and Market, Idir Lewis says he's doing as much as he can here with his business while trying to keep up with family back in Haiti. Civil unrest has plagued the country of Haiti as violent gang leaders have taken control, causing families to flee from their homes to seek refuge elsewhere. One Rochester resident being impacted is Adair Lewis, owner of African Haitian Cuisine and Market. He says he still has family in Haiti in the midst of the chaos, including his three-year-old child. Like right now, I have uh, my son over there that I've been trying to get over here. Uh, but because of everything is not functioning, I file, I call um, immigration, and I have yet to be able to find any help for me to get him here. He says he's been calling his family back home for the past two days now, and there's no answer. Because of the gang hold there, because some of because the electricity issue they have there, they have to put some gasoline into the motor to give the, the, the towers power, and gasoline can't get there, so now some of the town can go for seven days with no electricity, no um, signal you know, to communicate. And he isn't truly sure if it's a signal issue or something worse. Lewis says between being of service to those in the Haitian community here and trying to get help for his own family, he feels limited on what he can do. It shatters my heart that I have worked uh, um, so much that, uh, you know, I can't uh, um, do, anticipating and trying to do things for the community here that my son is my blood that I can't do, you know, the thing that as a father is supposed to do for your own kid. He says he's hopeful that the U.S. will do what they can to help, and he hopes Haiti is not forgotten. Back to you at the desk. Now, oh, heartbreaking story. Chatira, thank you. Tonight, the issue in Haiti also took center stage during a conference with House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries. He urged his fellow Republican House members to move on support for Haiti, as well as Ukraine and Gaza, among other areas of conflict.